Hey there, I'm talking to you. The one with ten tabs open, a coffee in hand, and trying to cram an entire semester into one night. Let's be real. Who hasn't spent hours studying only to forget everything the next day? Here's a truth that could change your entire game. Studying more isn't the answer. Studying smarter is. And what's the secret of the most successful students? They've mastered the art of rest. Yes, rest. In this video, we'll dive into the science behind why resting is your secret superpower for learning better. Stick around until the end, because I'll share four simple hacks you can start using today. And let me know in the comments which one are you going to try first. Let's talk about this grind culture that everyone praises. You know that whole no pain, no gain mindset? Like study until you're a zombie, chug another coffee and keep going. That's a myth when it comes to your brain. Here's the truth. Your brain is not a tireless machine. It's like a muscle. And what happens to a muscle if you train it non-stop without letting it recover? It burns out. It fails. Studies show that after 60 to 90 minutes of intense focus, cognitive fatigue starts to set in. That's when you find yourself reading the same paragraph for the third time, highlighting everything in neon, and nothing is actually sticking. Worse yet, forcing yourself to study while exhausted only reinforces shallow learning. It's like trying to fill an already overflowing glass. The water, or in this case, the content, doesn't stay. It spills. A Stanford University study found that information retention can drop by up to 40% when you study without strategic breaks. So instead of saving time, you're actually wasting it. Let's change that. Now let's nerd out a little. Let's understand what's going on inside your head when you study. Everything you learn first goes into your short-term memory, like a temporary draft. But for that information to turn into long-term memory, the kind that saves you during exams or presentations, it needs to be processed and organized, and guess who does that heavy lifting? Your brain, but only when you give it a break. When you pause or rest, your brain enters a state called the default mode network. It's like a backstage crew coming in to sort out the drawers, connect ideas and save the important stuff. Ever noticed how sometimes you understand a concept better after taking a nap or going for a walk? That's the default mode network, doing its thing. Without these breaks, what you study just floats around in your short-term memory and disappears. The bottom line, no rest, no retention. Simple, but powerful. If you think sleep is just shutting down for a few hours, get ready to have your mind blown. Sleep isn't just rest. It's active mental recovery. During sleep, especially in deep and REM phases, when you dream, your brain is literally reinforcing the connections between everything you learned. It's like it's organizing folders, labeling them, and hitting save in your mental hard drive. Harvard researchers found that students who sleep well and consistently perform up to 30% better on memory tasks than those who study more hours, but sleep less. Let me say that again. You can study less and remember more just by sleeping better. So instead of pulling an all-nighter, how about a new strategy? Study earlier, aim for seven to eight hours of sleep, and show up to the test with your brain sharp and ready. Sleep isn't the enemy of success. It's the secret sauce that makes everything click. Let's talk about a secret weapon, micro breaks. You know that moment when you think, take a five minute break, I'm too behind, can't afford it. Those five little minutes could be the difference between a half-baked study session and a ninja level learning experience. The Pomodoro technique, for example, is based on this. 25 minutes of full focus, five minute break. Sounds simple, but it's scientifically proven to recharge your attention and boost your mood. Think of your focus like a smartphone battery. If you use it non-stop, it drains fast. A short break is like a quick charge. You come back with more energy. Even better, during these breaks, your brain keeps processing information in the background, like an app running in low power mode. So while you think you're just resting, you're actually learning. Next time you hit a wall, get up, stretch, take a walk, drink some water. It's more effective than another cup of coffee. Time. To crush a myth that's holding you back. Resting is not laziness. In fact, knowing when to take a break is a sign of intelligence and discipline. Think of elite athletes like Neymar or Simone Biles. They train hard, but they also know when to stop and recover. 
If they ignored rest, they'd burn out or get injured. Why do we think the brain is any different? Real productivity isn't about studying 24-7. It's about being strategic with your energy. It's knowing when to say, OK, time to reset. A University of Illinois study found that people who take regular breaks are 15% more productive and less stressed than those who try to power through non-stop. So next time someone calls you lazy for taking a nap, throw some science at them. Resting is just as important as studying, period. Let's be honest. Most of us confuse rest with distraction. Spending 45 minutes scrolling through TikTok or watching memes on Insta. That's not rest. That's mental overload. Your brain is still processing images, sounds, notifications, drama. It's like swapping one job for another. Real rest is more so boring. It's quiet, it's calm. But that's where the magic happens. When you put down the screens, your brain has space to breathe and organize ideas. Want a practical example? Try this. Sit outside without your phone, just watching life go by. Do five minutes of stretching, feeling each muscle relax. Close your eyes and breathe deeply, focusing only on your breath. At first, it might feel weird, even boring, but it's like giving your mind a deep clean. A University of California study found that just 10 minutes without digital stimulation reduces anxiety and improves mental clarity. So why not try a digital detox at least once a day? Ready to put this into action? Here's your simple and direct. Plan, use the Pomodoro technique. 25 minutes of focused study, five minute break. Set a timer on your phone. Prioritize sleep. Set an alarm to go to bed, not just to wake up. Aim for seven, eight hours a night. Take a screen-free break, 10 minutes. A day, no phone, just you and your breath. Balcony, bedroom, wherever. Schedule your rest. Include breaks and sleep in your study routine like they're non-negotiable appointments. You don't have to turn your life upside down. Start with just one of these hacks. Stay consistent and watch how your memory and focus take off. Small changes, big results. Now you know rest is not a break from learning. It's part of learning. Give your brain the space it needs and it will reward you with clarity, sharper memory and the drive to crush your exams. I want to hear from you. Which of these rest hacks are you going to try this week? Let me know in the comments. I'll be reading every one of them. If this video helped you, drop a like, share it with that friend who's burning out from non-stop studying, and subscribe for more science-backed tips to study smarter without the burnout. Your brain deserves more than just survival. Let's help it shine.